Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking to you about Easter baskets, specifically Easter baskets you can put together using items from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree is a great source for things like this because your money goes really far. You can get a ton of fun stuff for the basket and not spend a whole lot of money. Plus they've got name brand stuff, a lot of really great candy. I wanted to do this because I think it's nice to put things beyond just the candy and the junk in the baskets. And there's all sorts of great little toys and activities that that you can find at the Dollar Tree. I'm also going to be showing you things that will work for older kids. It's not just all little kid stuff. If you've got a teenager, this is how you can put together a really fun, inexpensive basket for them. I'm also going to show you a few things that are not Easter specific. There are things that Dollar Tree has year round, but I think go great in an Easter basket. So you can also pick them up. And toward the end, I'm also going to show like a little mini haul, a bunch of other fun craft DIY items that I picked up recently in case you want to see that as well. But we're starting with the Easter basket. And I'm going to begin by showing you the basket that I picked up. This is so cute. I showed this in a past haul. It is a basketball net. I'm making this basket for my sister and she is a basketball player. But I just wanted to show you an example of how many unique baskets they have at the Dollar Tree. It's not just going to be those little woven baskets. There's all sorts of fun stuff. They had like footballs and soccer balls. They've got different animal shapes. A really great source if you need an Easter basket. Check it out. And now I'm going to start by showing you the candy that I picked up. They had a lot of really fun unique stuff and name brand candies they have these great like just regular candy that we you know see everywhere skittles starbucks but i love that they're in easter packaging this is an egg and this has the little flowers for spring i think that's a really nice touch it's fun and festive makes it feel a little bit special i got a bag of these reese cup eggs if you are a reese cup lover then you probably love when they come out with the shapes for the holidays they are by far the best reese cups are they and i love that you get a bag of them for just a dollar that's a really great price these were so cute. My daughter saw these in the store and just loved them. They've got these little push-up lollipops. What's the brand? It's not a brand. But uh, so they have, this is PJ Masks. They have Peppa Pig. They had a few other characters. I think they might have had trolls. They had Hatchimals. I think this is a great little toy and candy in one. Great for kids of different ages. And then I got these little Mickey Mouse gummies. I love that they have characters that our kids all love in the Easter shapes. I showed these in a past haul as well. And then I got just one of these. This reminds me of what they sell at Christmas. It's one of those like canisters with the little toy at top. And it's a non-name brand M&M candy. So I think those are really great candy options. I like that there's a mix of chocolate and fruity candies. And then you want to fill it up with other stuff, right? You don't want to just rot their teeth. So I got a bunch of different things in here. Uh, this, I was so, I thought this was so cute. This is actually an Easter basket skirt. But I bought this to put in the basket, not on the basket, as like a little dress up thing. This is great if you've got a toddler. This will fit their waist. And it's such a pretty color for spring. This will go great in her dress up kit. And then I also found this little sticker scene. I've talked about toys like this before in my busy bag video. I'll put a link below if you want to see it. I love toys like this where you get like this um, laminated sheet and then you get these vinyl stickers that go on it because you can take stuff like this when you're traveling or if you're at a restaurant and the kids can use it over and over. They don't just put the stickers down and then you have to throw it away. It's no good anymore. This is a reusable toy. So I think that's really great for a dollar. Like I said, I'll link below the busy bag video if you're interested. And then I got this little toy. I thought this was so cute and I've never seen this before. It's this little rabbit and it comes with these balls. And the rabbit, um, the little balls go in the mouth and then you squeeze the rabbit and they pop out. Uh, I think it's a little shooter game. And like I said, my sister is a basketball player. So I think she'll have fun with this. She'll have fun playing with this with my daughter. That's why I picked it up. But I think that's really fun for a bunch of different age ranges. And now I've got some non-Easter specific things. Uh, it's getting warmer. Not so warm here, but in some places it's getting warmer. So Dollar Tree has put out their pool toys. And I've never seen this before. It's a beach ball that is an emoji. And they had a bunch of different emoji faces. And my sister's a teenager, so obviously she uses emojis. But I like stuff like this because even if it's not warm enough yet to go swimming where you live, this is sort of something that's fun to blow up. You can play with it in the house, bop it around. My sister and my daughter will love playing with this together. And then I've got a bunch of socks. I think socks are a great thing to put in an Easter basket. And Dollar Tree sells really wonderful socks all year round. I got a bunch of like different styles and such. I got these little lattes. How cute are those? And then these have french fries. I love the colors on them. 
little french fries and then these i've bought before and shown in a haul but the last time i bought them they had one pair in the store and i found this second pair so i picked them up and the last time i showed these you guys went crazy for them so be on the lookout for these in your stores they're pink and mint mint frap clean and then i got some little kids socks they had a bunch of characters out right now there's mickey and mini they had trolls they had peppa pig they had really fun colors and they actually had these out in the easter section at my store so they're they're catching on to people putting these in easter baskets but those are really wonderful and then uh toothbrushes like why not put toothbrushes in an easter basket they're eating all that candy you put them in a stocking right so i like these because it's the first time i've seen disney branded toothbrushes at the Dollar Tree. It's the Sum Sums, but you get three for a dollar. It's a great price, and I love the pattern. The characters are so cute. That's a great little addition. And then I picked up this toy. I thought it was a good example. This would go really great in an Easter basket because it would fit really nice. It's a bigger item. It would help fill it up for just a dollar. You know what these are, right? Those microphones. Doo, 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 doo. Um, we used to play with these when I was a kid, and my daughter will absolutely go nuts for this. It's a really fun little toy. Uh, I think that's a great value for one dollar. And then again, if you've got a teenager, Dollar Tree sells great earbuds. They've got really fun colors out right now. I loved this mint. I should have picked one up for myself. That's a great Easter basket item as well. So that's the Easter basket stuff that I picked up. And like I said a little earlier, make sure you get your filler at the Dollar Tree. They've got all different kinds of grasses and confetti that you can put in and assemble it really, really nice. Uh, and now I'm going to show you a few other things that I picked up while I was there. They had some really wonderful DIY items, and this was my favorite one that I found. I love when Dollar Tree sells these sticker letters. I use them all the time for projects if I'm making signs or if I'm making banners, and this is a new font. I picked up, I bought every one that they had. I think they had five sheets, but they're a really great size, and let's see, are they vinyl poster stickers? I'm not sure, but yeah, I think they're a really wonderful quality. If you went into Michael's to buy these, this would be eight dollars because I mean it's so big this would be really expensive at Michael's um so yeah I got five sheets of those and then I got this um mirror I used a mirror like this in my Harry Potter video I did Harry Potter crafts I'll put a link below to that as well I made the mirror of I always say this wrong mirror of Erised I don't know but uh that was kind of a different shape and i wrote on it in permanent marker for that so i wanted a new one and this is a new shape that they haven't had before this will be really great for different projects it's a good size for just a dollar i love the detailing and then i picked up one more of these placemats in a new pattern i did a project with one of these a few weeks ago i did a no sew pillow it was so cute i'll link that below for you guys and i have a new project that i'm doing with this one so i got a different pattern this is going to be really pretty i think the video using this is going to be up next week so make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out and then is this the last thing i think so i bought these i'm so excited to share these with you guys um, okay, am I going to say this right? Yokai Watch. So I think this is a cartoon, I think. And about a year ago, they had toys from this cartoon as well. Uh, but I mean, for a dollar, look at that. It's a, it's like a digital watch. It's a watch that plays music, plays different sounds. So it's like interactive. It recognizes metals. I don't know. If you guys know what this cartoon or this game is, let me know. I would be interested. Anyway, I bought two. When I see stuff like this that is obviously sort of like name brand and good quality at the Dollar Tree, I will buy them and I stash them away for Toys for Tots. So then at the end of the year, you've got a nice collection. So I picked up two. It says ages four and up. I think that's great. Or if you've got like a birthday party or something. Anyway, that's what I picked up. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was and if you're working on Easter baskets this week. I'd love to hear what you put in yours. I think it's fun to get creative with it and not do the same stuff year after year after year. I'm really excited to put this together for my sister. We're going to see her soon. Uh, and give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it so I know to do more videos like this. I do really, really easy projects Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.